handcuffed and taken to a holding facility. That's how a recent school day ended for an 11-year-old girl in Adams County. Her mother called nine wants to know, claiming the punishment for being disrespectful went too far. Will Ripley spoke to the school district, and they looked into the incident. Will? Kim, it is all laid out in this report from the Adams County Sheriff's Office. A sixth grader basically didn't follow orders, was pretty rude, and she ended up in handcuffs. Well, tonight, we're hearing what happened to her. It could be a lesson for others. Confused and scared. Kids who cop an attitude at school might want to think twice. Because why would they handcuff me? Yahida Quezada is 11 years old, a sixth grader at Shaw Heights Middle School. I'm not the type of girl to get arrested. This incident report says Yahida was in the hallway without permission and was argumentative and extremely rude to an assistant principal. She told me that. I need to quit giving her my attitude. When intervention efforts with a counselor failed, Yahida was put in a patrol car and taken to a juvenile holding facility called The Link. The Adams County Sheriff's Office says handcuffing kids during transport is standard procedure. Criminals. They're treating them like criminals. And they're not. They're kids. Mireya Gaitan doesn't condone her daughter's behavior, but she questions the severity of the punishment and the handcuff marks left on Yahida's hands. It's not a pretty picture. Not at all. You hate to see something escalate to where it becomes a police matter. Once they step in and take over a case, it's really in their hands. Steve Saunders with Adams County School District 50 says any time an incident rises to this level, officials take a close look at what happened. The conclusion was that as far as the district was concerned, everything was, ha was handled appropriately. Gaetan moved both her daughters to a new school. I am blaming myself. Yahida now knows what not to do when talking to a teacher. Not to give them attitude. The Adams County Sheriff's Office told us they could not talk about this incident because there's a minor involved and there were no charges filed. Now, this report says that Yahida was never violent, but she was disobedient and disrespectful. We're having a heated debate right now on our 9 News Facebook. What's your theory? Because sometimes we get thousands of people like this and we'll take them to the polling booth and we won't win the win the caucus. So, uh, you know, a lot of our supporters are very suspicious uh, about it. But um, the straw votes have been very confusing. I mean, you've probably read the paper about what happened up in Maine. I mean, they, they, it, 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 it's just a lot of confusion. They said, well, let's have a recount. They said, well, we can't have a recount. They just write these numbers down on pieces of paper and we throw them away afterwards. So it's that kind of stuff that makes you suspicious. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, March 12th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com, and ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. Okay, um, I have this first article up. I'll just go briefly through the politics part, uh, just because it's worth mentioning as far as Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich go. Ron Paul's pointless internet presidency. So I saw this come across the headlines and just kind of, you know, shake my head because this is what it is. This is what you're going to get in the mainstream media. Ron Paul has about as many votes in this year's GOP primaries as he has Facebook fans. Uh, it says here, is he fierce online? Is his fierce online following that much less relevant than it appears? So the guy has most support out of most veterans. Um, he has the biggest online support, the most grassroots mobilized support, uh, bigger crowds, and yet somehow he's losing. So it just goes to show you that uh, most of these elections are rigged. But uh, maybe they're not. Maybe there's just pure democracy or, uh, or uh, pure um, uh, politics uh, at its finest being ta uh, taking place. Or my other theory is, is maybe if it is like that, uh, it's because what? Uh, because uh, most uh, baby boomers are not going to vote for Ron Paul, unfortunately. They're going to vote for Mitt Romney or Obama again. A lot of them are probably going to re-elect Obama. And then you have uh, these older people, elderly people. They may actually agree with a lot of things that Ron Paul says, but they'll still think that he's a kook because they trust the mainstream media like the baby boomers. So that they'll vote for – they'll actually won't vote because they'll be like, oh, well, I was going to vote, but I was going to vote for John McCain, and he's not running, so I guess I won't vote. And then you have like mostly young people that are for uh, – younger people that are for Ron Paul. Which make up, uh, uh, you know, less people, a smaller group than the baby boomers and the elderly. 
But really, what's going on here? Uh, I I don't see a Republican candidate being president, and um, uh, later on, you're going to see uh, how they're going to blame Ron Paul for oh, if Ron Paul didn't run, you know, Mitt Romney could have won, or Ginrich, or one of those uh, douchebags, you know. Uh, so they'll they'll just end up blaming it on the uh, Ron Paul, which is basically he's basically a third party candidate. Uh, like they did to uh, uh, other candidates in the past, like Ross Perot and uh, who is it, Bob Dole, or uh, not even third-party candidates, but just other candidates. They just now Ralph Nader. They just tend to like do that, play that game. And then of course you saw this video right here where they were saying you better get used to it. And what did the girl say? Oh, her lesson was is that she's not going to speak up, right? So. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's fortunate that I don't have children because I, I couldn't send them to these schools. I, I would try to homeschool them as best as I could, but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's bad. It's it's terrible. I mean, uh, schools are, are, are literally, they're indoctrinating you into a, uh, uh, to a system where they tell you it's democratic and it's free. When it's not democratic, it's not free. Um, you don't, you can't just become the president if you want. If you do and you start to speak your mind, you'll get killed. And they don't teach you that. They tell you that all the rewritten history, uh, you know, and, and you're supposed to eat it up. And most students just kind of turn their heads and they don't even listen to the crap because it's all stupid garbage anyways, right? Um, but this is the thing. If you reject that programming, like I did, I did, I did that in high school, you know, all through grammar school, basically B average. Probably could have been A, but I was just not as interested. So I got a B average mostly. Then high school, I graduated with a 1.7 GPA. Why? Because I didn't give a fuck. I realized that it was all just bullshit, you know? And then I went into the Marine Corps, and you see, that was part of the program. We reject away from that and go in and serve the military industrial complex and get out. Then I got my college degree, and, uh, and I graduated what? Like a 3.4. Why? Because the first two years, I cared. And then by the two years, I realized it was all bullshit. And by the last days before I got my degree, I was literally in the back row of my journalism class, banging my head on the fucking table because I was so frustrated with what I was seeing. And there's no one to really talk to about it, right? Nearly 2 million dead people listed on U.S. electoral rolls. That's right. Then moving on here. Dennis Kucinich uh, loses Ohio congressional primary due, uh, to Marcy Kaptur. When I was buying into that whole politics game still, you know, screaming at the TV while I was watching the debates back in 2000, or what was it, uh, yeah, early 2008 during the primaries, uh, I liked Ron Paul and I liked, uh, I liked Dennis Kucinich because I kind of felt like they were real. They said in a concession speech just uh, past midnight, a bitter Kucinich described uh, her campaign as, quote, lacking integrity and filled with false truths. I hope this is not representation of how she'll run the district, end quote. Uh, that's the guy that lived in his car and took on, like, the local monopoly of the uh, power companies. So, But uh, it says here, Obama orders military to prepare for spring food rise. Remember this from January 2011, a grim report prepared by uh, France's general dictorate for external security obtained by Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service states that President Obama and Sarkozy have agreed in principle to create a joint U.S. Mil European military force to deal exclusively with global uprisings expected this spring as our world runs out of food. Now, it didn't happen last spring, and so far, I mean, we haven't really gotten to spring, but it hasn't happened yet. But just wait. Uh, just wait. I mean, the G8 that was supposed to take place... Uh, in Chicago has actually been moved because they're worried about the protests getting violent, right? Demand for survival services rises in U.S. cities by Reuters. Many cities across the U.S. are still scrambling to help their residents overcome the economic recession that officially ended more than two years ago. <laughs> they're telling people <laughs> that's so funny. It, it officially ended. That's right. They're telling people that it's over. According to a survey released on Friday by the National League of Cities, the demand for these services, such as food banks and housing shelters, increased 31% of cities over the last six months. Meanwhile, residential property values have declined in more than a third of cities, and commercial property values have dropped uh, almost 30%. And if the Federal Reserve's uh, basically issuing of money and uh, charging us to use it, 
doesn't cause prices to rise for food. Monsanto, the agri-giant roundup, threatens stability of global food supply. The reckless disregard for public health and agricultural stability of the planet may be even more significant than previously thought. Shocking new report reveals how Monsanto's uh, roundup is actually threatening the crop yielding potential of the entire uh, biosphere. It reveals that... Um, this glyphosate, which was developed by the company in the early 70s and is an active ingredient in the herbicide Roundup, may irre uh, irreversibly devastate the microdiversity of soil, compromising the health of the entire planet. Of course, you have what? The, uh, the GMO plants and the GMO seeds that spray into non GMO fields, contaminating as well. And there's farmers that are suing these companies for that too. Ex London police chief warns of massive unrest. Says here, Britain's former head of Metropolitan Police Service has warned of a repeat of unprecedented unrest in the country of August 2011 uh, if the media failed to justify the British police's indiscriminate killing. Again, more BS. The stock market has recovered. But uh, U.S. still down 6 million jobs. That's right. Uh, moving on here, GE's ML, Global Economy, a New Era of Instability. In other words, it's uh, the air. It's we're in the area uh, era of constant instability, where they're constantly going to be telling you that everything's all right, while uh, majority of people's wealth, standard of living, go down. Um, but they're always going to be telling you, oh, we gotta, we got to get a bailout. we got to do this to save it. we got to do this to save it. And it'll just keep going and going and going. It says here, January trade gra uh, gap widens as imports hit record high. So imports have hit a record high in the United States. Then we have, moving on, uh, half of young black men are unemployed. More than half of young black men wanting to work are unemployed and are twice as likely to be jobless as their white counterparts. Then we have New York law schools inflate job figures, say Chris. Critics of local law schools say that uh, Columbia and New York University uh, has uh, overpromised the economic benefit of a degree, inflating the number of students who find um, uh, employment after graduation and how much of those jobs pay. It's funny that uh, someone actually just left a comment. I don't know if it was a troll or what. On my last, on my first video about uh, Iran and that, saying, you know, you should get a PhD in poli sci before you voice your opinion. I thought that was kind of funny. Wells Fargo rolls out more uh, $7 checking accounts, so far they'll start charging $7 a month for checking accounts in six more states. Like I said, they should be paying you to store your money in there so they can loan it out and make money. You don't see a damn dime. Germany fails to meet its own austerity goals, so I'm going to keep moving here, but they failed to meet their goals. We have this black swan no one is talking about, Germany's plan B. So while the second Greek bailout may or may not be complete, Germany can and will walk from the euro if it needs to. Zero Hedge says this is the unforeseen black swan everyone is ignoring. Then we have this Moody's Greek sovereign debt remaining uh, rating remains at C. So it basically goes on and says that the service says that it considers Greece to have defaulted per Moody's default definition. New York Times CEO exit compensation package tops $23 million. And it goes on and says, it is more than the company has earned in the past four years. CEO's golden parachute exit packages past $100 million. The golden parachute is evolving into a platinum kiss. So you can go in there and check this out. The top 100 CEOs pay. And look at where, they're, uh, where the, uh, where the uh, CEO is right around. They're around News Corp making $22 million. Yeah, propaganda, you, you know. As long as you're putting out really, really good propaganda that helps the establishment, you're going to get compensated well. And look at who's number one, Viacom. But be careful if you decide to work for uh, 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 Mr. Murdoch, two senior journalists at News International, in apparent suicide attempts following their arrest. Then we have this, Robert Reich, the extra dollars you're paying at the pump are going to Wall Street speculators. Reich is a former U.S. Secretary of More Gasoline Price Propaganda from Yahoo. We can live with $4 gas. Economist sees hope for U.S. amid global slowing. Then can I afford a baby? There's no denying that babies are cute, but they can be quite expensive. So, you know, maybe 100 years ago, you know, you had your own land. You actually owned your own land, your own house. You know, uh, raising kids weren't that uh, big of a deal. You could have 10, 15 of them. But they also didn't give their kids this crappy formula or these uh, plastic diapers. No, they made their own, and they didn't have daycare because the parents and mothers were home. And the comments are bashing it, saying they only cost them $3,500. You can shop at thrift stores if you need to. They would never 
uh, go back on having kids, even one that was unplanned, saying it's impossible to put a dollar value on love. But you can write a bill that allows for sterilizations for your children without parental consent at any age in Australia. Then the feeling racist blood pressure pill uh, may open hearts and minds. So funny because the elites, they're the most racist bastards on this planet, and they're the ones promoting this tolerance. I'm talking about the experts, of course. Then we have children at risk of descending into a life of crime and aggression should be sent to discipline institutes at age 5 and identified by age 2, says what? Ooh, the discipline experts. But how come the uh, experts never have a problem with girls as young as 8 wearing nude bikinis for a dance contest? Thank you.